Yeah, uh, both, both the two uh, the functions are raised to all, uh, all the numbers, as uh, you can see. So I have the two options, okay? I can put the integration in the form of uh, sine function times cosine function d, dx, okay? Or, the, or, or uh, alternatively, I can use the term sine x dx and try to put the, the rest of the integral in terms of cosine x, okay? the new term, uh, term from the cosine function, okay? So this is integration of sine to the, to the fifth of x times cosine to the fourth of x times cosine x dx. If this is the du term, then uh, u should be a function of sine x, okay? So I have to reduce this function into sine, uh, in terms of uh, sine x. is 1 minus sine squared x all squared <coughs> times cosine x dx. Okay? So this is integration of sine to the fifth of x times 1 minus 2 sine squared x plus sine to the fourth of x all times cosine x dx. This is the integration of sine uh, to the fifth minus two sine to the seventh plus sine to the ninth of x or cosine x dx. <coughs> so we can simply apply the power rule to find the integral of each term. Okay, the integral of each term. Then the first term will give us sine to the sixth over 6 minus 2 sine to the 8 over 8 plus sine to the 10 over 10 plus c. Okay? okay what if uh, I'm asked to, solve, to find the, uh, the value of this integral? Sine, for example, to the fourth of uh, x times cosine to the fourth of x. What can I do? If both m and n are even numbers. Stop at m. Or I put one minus design, or I with the one minus design in two x, but by two I don't do it. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reduce the power of each function using the double angle formula. I have to reduce the power of each function using the double angle formula. Okay? <coughs> so I uh, you, you, you have to recall that sine squared x equals one minus design. Up. Half 1 minus cosine 2x and cosine squared x equals half 1 plus cosine 2x. Using the double angle formula for the sines and cosines, I can reduce the power of each function. Okay? So assign, assign to the power 4 <coughs> is simply. So this is simply is 1 over 2. 1 minus cosine 2x all squared, okay? And this, is, this will be 1 over 4 times cosine to the fourth of x, which is 1 over 4 times 1 plus cosine 2x all squared dx, okay? Then you simplify. Uh, you, uh, another term involving cosine squared will appear. You have to again if, uh, apply the double angle formula. So you have to apply the double angle formula repeatedly, okay? Until the all uh, the all integrand will be turned in terms of cosine only, not cosine squared, okay? 
sin 2x, yes, sin 2x, sin x, cosine x equals half sin 2x. Yes, then you need to square both the sides and then apply the double angular, yes, that's right.
tell you how to find the values of uh, integrations in the form sine mx times cosine nx dx. Yes. So I have to use the double angle formula in order to get rid of the square root. Okay. Uh, again, the double angle formula is says that cosine squared of x equals half times one plus cosine two x. Okay. So one plus cosine <coughs> two over two is something. So one plus cosine t over two equals two cosine squared t over two. Okay. Apply this rule. So I'm trying to find one plus cosine t over two in terms of cosine squared. Using the double angle formula, it will be two times cosine squared of t over two. So the integration will be reduced to the square root of 2 times cosine squared t over 4, all dt, which is the square root of 2, times the integral, absolute value of cosine t over 4, dt. Okay? Integration of absolute cosine t over 4 is absolute sine. Okay, which is square root, absolute value of sine, t over 4, over 1 over 4, which is 4. times 4, okay, plus an arbitrary constant c. So using the, the double angle formula, I can get rid of the square root, okay, I can get rid of the square root of any uh, terms that involve sine and cosine function, okay. We learned uh, trigonometric substitution. 
questions? Uh, we said that in, uh, for, for integrals that in both the, uh, that in both the terms, square root of a squared minus x squared, or square root of x squared minus a squared, or square root of a squared plus x squared, we can use uh, to simplify the, inter the integrals. In the if they are involved in these terms, we can use certain trigonometric substitutions. Okay? Uh, for example, if I need to solve integration number 9, okay, which involves the term square root of 16 minus y squared, then I have to use, or I can solve it using one of the trigonometric substitutions that we learned uh, previously. Y dy over square root of 16 minus y squared. Of course, I can apply the power rule. Okay? Can I apply the power rule? Yes. Yes. I need to multiply by negative 2 and divide by negative 2 in order to be able to apply the power rule, which is possible. Okay? So let us solve it using the power rule and then using the trigonometric substitutions that uh, we were trying to use. Negative 1 over 2, integration of negative 2y dy over square root of 16 minus y squared is negative 1 over 2. This is uh, 16 minus y squared over negative half. Applying the power rule, it will be 16 minus y squared the power of half over e 1 over 2, so it will be times 2. Yes. So the, the final answer is negative square root of 16 minus y squared plus an arbitrary constant. Okay? Of course, I, I uh, can reach the, the same answer if I use the trigonometric substitution that we learned before, which is that y equals uh, y equals a over sine theta d d. Okay? We can use this substitution, this trigonometric substitution, in order to reduce the form of the integration into uh, an easier uh, or something that can be integrated easily. Sorry? Without this Of course, without it. That's right. Y equals 4 sine theta, sine theta, then dy equals 4 cosine theta, theta. Then the integration I will be reduced to 4 sine theta times dy, which is 4 cosine theta, so it is 16 sine theta cosine theta d theta over square root of 16 minus y squared will be reduced to 4 cosine theta. So this is the integration of 4 times sine theta d theta, which is 4, negative 4 cosine theta plus a constant c. And finally, I need to put theta in terms of the variable of integration, which is y. Okay. So I, I need to, to draw a reference uh, triangle. And this is theta. Then I'm assuming that sine theta equals y over 4. Okay. Then this side should be square root of 16 minus y squared. So the final answer, answer in terms of y will be negative 4 times cosine theta is square root of 16 minus y squared over 4 plus c, which is the same answer that we uh, obtained using the power rule. Okay? Uh, what about integration number 10? Actually, there is another trigonometric substitution that we usually use to transform uh, expressions in terms of sine x and cosine, uh, cosine x into uh, expressions that involve the value of substitution. Okay? Let us see this trigonometric substitution, how it should be applied. Yes. 
one of the techniques that, uh, uh, that can be used to solve integration number 10 is to assume that z equals 10x over 2. Usually this substitution, this trigonometric substitution, reduce, uh, reduces the expressions that, uh, that involves a sine and cosine into expressions that involve the z term. Okay? If, if I assume that z equals 10x over 2, then cosine x should, should be reduced to what? In terms of z, of course. I need to put cosine x in terms of sines and, sines and cosines of x over 2 first. Okay? Cosine x equals cosine squared x over 2 minus sine squared x over 2. Okay? Which is 2 cosine squared x over 2 minus 1. Okay? Now cosine squared, in order to be able to use this substitution, I'm going to express cosine squared in terms of secant squared. So this is 2 over secant squared x over 2 minus 1. Secant squared equals 2. 10 squared plus 1. So this is 2 over 10 squared of x over 2 plus 1 minus 1. So simply this is in terms of z will be reduced to 2 over z squared plus 1 minus 1 which is z squared plus 1, uh, 2 minus, this is 2 minus z squared plus 1, so this is, this will be 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared, okay? So if I'm using this substitution, then cosine x in terms of z will be reduced to 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared, yes? Uh, to solve uh, the, to find the value of the integral cosine t over 1 minus cosine t, I'm trying to use a substitution that will transform the integrand into functions of z, or another variable, uh, rational uh, function in z, okay, or algebraic function in, uh, in z. So if I'm using that uh, z or uh, any variable of integration, if I'm assuming that the variable is z equal, and it is uh, equal to 10 x over 2, then in order to find cosine x in terms of, uh, of z, I have to find it first in terms of x over 2, sines and cosines of x over 2, okay? Which will be reduced to 2 times cosine squared x over 2 minus 1, okay? I'm trying to use this, this uh, substitution. So cosine squared will be uh, expressed in terms of secant squared, because it is related to 10, 10 squared. I'm trying to get close to the assumption, so that, uh, okay? So this, uh, this will be reduced to 2 over secant squared of x over 2 minus 1. Secant uh, squared is simply 10 squared plus 1. So this uh, will ma uh, make us able to find cosine x in terms of z. And cosine x will be reduced to 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared. Similarly for the sine function, sine x, if I'm using this substitution, then sine x can be reduced to what? Sine x equals 2 sine x over 2 times cosine x over 2. Okay? This is the first step in order to find the trigonometric functions in terms of x over 2. Okay? Then, what uh, can I do is to multiply by uh, cosine squared of x over 2 and divide by the cosine squared of x over 2. Just to generate the function 10x over 2 times the secant squared. Okay? So this will be dividing this term by this term, or does it in 2 10 x over 2 times cosine squared, which, which can be expressed uh, expressed in terms of secant squared. Okay? So this is 1 over secant squared x over 2. Okay? Uh, so th this will be 10, 10, uh, 2, 10, x over 2, over secant squared, which is 10 squared, x over 2, plus 1. In terms of z, this will be reduced to 2 times z over 1 plus z squared. Okay? So using this substitution, 
sin, sin x can be replaced to 2 times z over 1 plus z squared. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I think there is another way. We can uh, represent, uh, we can put a uh, cosine t uh, using uh, the double angle formula, I think. I think using the double angle formula, we can solve this situation. Okay. I think we can do it. احنا ينفع نضرب بماينس هنا تبقى ماينس كوزين وبعد كده نزود واحد ناقص واحد تبقى هنا واحد ناقص واحد تبقى تبقى واحد تبقى واحد ناقص واحد على واحد ناقص كوزين تي هو كوزين تي دبل انجل فورمولا واحد تمام بس تو I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to find the term tan. I'm trying to reach the term tan x over over 2. So multiply by cosine squared, okay? Dividing by cosine squared will convert this term into tan x over 2, okay? So what about the term cosine squared that I had to multiply by? It can be expressed in terms of sequence squared, okay? Then a sine x will be finally uh, can be finally expressed in terms of z is two times z over one plus z squared. Uh, we need to find also dx in terms of dz. Okay, we need to find dx in terms of dz if we're using this substitution. How can we find dx in terms of dz? Put x in into uh, Put x first in terms of z. x equals 10 inverse 2 10 inverse z. So dx equals 2 over 1 plus z squared dz. Okay? Okay, so if I have any integers uh, uh, that, in, that involve an expression in cosine function or sine function, I can uh, convert this integrand into expressions that involve the z variable if I assume that z equals 10 x over 2. Okay? Then usually cosine x can be reduced to 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared, and sine x can be reduced to 2 times z over 1 plus z squared, We finally dx is reduced to 2 over 1 plus z squared dz. So using this, uh, this is the substitution, the integration number 10. Cosine squared, cosine squared, because I, I need to convert this into a function. So cosine squared will, cosine, if I multiply by cosine, only, uh, divide by only cosine function, then, You, you will have to, uh, you will have a term cosine x, what can you do? Yes, it will be 10, 10 x will be 2 times, if I, if I divide it on, on uh, cosine x only. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes. If you, if you multiply by cosine x only, then cosine times cosine is the cosine squared, and this will be the tensor. That's all. Okay. So uh, try to solve. Let us try to solve this uh, the integration number ten using this substitution. Then i equals <coughs> integration of cosine t over one minus cosine t dt, which is I assume that z equals ten t over two. Then cosine t. As we derive here, you can get